Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Kevin Roth. I want to talk to you today about one of the most common diagnoses that we see here in the office called impingement syndrome. To understand impingement syndrome, it helps to understand the anatomy of the shoulder a little bit. In fact, I hear a lot of people say the rotor cup or the rotary cup, uh, but in fact it's called the rotator cuff, C-U-F-F, -F, just like the cuff of a shirt. The rotator cuff is made up of four muscles, the subscapularis on the front, the supraspinatus on the top, and then on the back, we have the infraspinatus and the teres minor. You can imagine that as the arm comes out to the side, away from the body, the supraspinatus and the bursa, which sits right on top, can pinch against the acromion. Once those two things pinch, you can get some swelling. The more they swell, the more likely they are to get pinched. The more they pinch, the more they swell, and you get into this vicious cycle that we call impingement syndrome. Typically, the treatment for it involves a couple of things. Ice can be very helpful because ice is a topical anti-inflammatory and when we're using ice we're trying to decrease the swelling of that rotator cuff tendon so that it's less likely to get pinched by the acromion up on top. An oral anti-inflammatory like Advil or Aleve can also help. For the same reason it can decrease some of the swelling. Physical therapy can help and the reason why physical therapy helps is that by strengthening some of these muscles around the scapula, what we call the periscapular muscles, we can improve your posture. And as you can see even in this model, as we improve somebody's posture, as we rotate the scapula back, we can actually increase the space here, lifting the acromion up and away from the humeral head, making it less likely to pinch. Lastly, a cortisone shot every now and then can help as well. When we do that, we're putting a needle right up on top of the supraspinatus tendon, right underneath the acromion bone into the bursa in that space between the two. Typically, we use an ultrasound machine where we can put it right on the edge here. We can look inside and we can direct the needle perfectly into that spot on top of the rotator cuff. Every now and then, but rarely, we have to do surgery on this. When we do a surgery, what we're doing is we're shaving the bone here, the acromion, and we're smoothing it out to try to decrease the amount of pinching. But as I said, that's pretty rare. Typically, if we do physical therapy, ice, anti-inflammatory, maybe a cortisone injection, we're pretty successful at treating impingement syndrome. If you're having shoulder pain, particularly with reaching up over your head or twisting your arm, those tend to be signs of it. Sometimes it can keep folks awake at night. If you're having any symptoms like that, feel free to give us a call. Visit us on the website at kevinrothmd.com. We'd be happy to see you. Thanks a lot.